The Senate has urged the federal government to provide urgent intervention funds for the collapse bridge that traverses Enugu Port Harcourt High Expressway. This followed the point of order raised at the, do at the floor of the Senate by Senator Ositangu, representing Enugu West, and Senator Kelvin Chuku on the collapse bridge in Enugu. Ngu states that a renovation of the bridge is very needful due to its economic importance in the country. In response to this, Senator Solomon Olamileko expressed concern towards the bad state of roads in the country and advocated for its reconstruction, especially the Enugu Collapsed Bridge. President, this motion is a motion of a matter of urgent public importance about a collapsed flyover bridge on the highway of Enugu to Port Harcourt Expressway. This is a, the road that conveys major people from parts of Ebony, even part of the north, and then we go to Port Harcourt Expressway, which tragically collapsed. Fortunately, no life was lost. But as it is today, the road is... And the suggestion is that all these roads and bridges that distinguished senators have brought before us, before this Senate, should be put into a compendium that we have the list so that when the executive appear before us, especially the Minister for Works and Infrastructure, we cannot compare notes. If all these roads, bridges, collapse and everything have been captured in the budget. The Senate therefore urged the federal government through the Ministry of Works and Federal Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, to commence construction of the bridge. Prayer one should read that we should urge uh, the, the Federal Emergency Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA, to immediately embark on a remedial measure on this uh, collapse bridge, and it has been seconded. Those who are in support of this prayer as amended, say aye. Those who are against, say nay. The ayes are it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.